Hey everyone, today is day four of the interesting point of view challenge. And today I just want to speak a little bit from the chapter, everything is just an interesting point of view. It's from the 10 keys to total freedom um, by Gary Douglas and Dane here. Um, so first off, what is a point of view? Um, so Gary says a point of view is a position from which something is observed. It's a particular way of looking at something. And a point of view is different from awareness. So it's good for us to establish the difference between a point of view and awareness. So awareness is seeing what you can see and not having a point of view about it. And we talked a little bit about this too on day, the last few days about having a point of view, but not, you can have a point of view, but you also don't have to solidify it. So when you have an awareness, awareness can always change. Awareness is not right or wrong or solid. So the definition of a point of view is contained in the phrase point of view, the point from which you view something, which means you can only occupy one place in the universe at any one time. And this is where you really limit yourselves. One point of view you align and agree with or resist and react to creates so much limitation in your world. So, when you take a point of view, you eliminate space and compress it down to one point, which is where you create a limitation because you cannot be aware of any other choice, possibility or contribution. You're not functioning from question. So points of views are a way to eliminate space. So take some area of your life where it's difficult for you, right? Say money. How much space do you have with money when you have a lot of points of views. The points of views eliminate the space you could have and the choices you could be making. So another thing they talk about here too is that 99% of the things that are going on for you that are difficult for you are where you have a point of view. So what is what are your most challenging things in your life? What is most difficult for you? Like is it relationship? Is it business? Is it money? If you look at it, there are the places where you have the most points of views. So would you be willing to actually start being interesting point of view with these things that you have found most difficult for you? So what, and the thing about that is too, is like, are you willing to actually have total awareness? So this is what Gary talks about here as well. He's like, um, what does he say? Let me read it to you. Well, let me read first the 99%. So the 99 plus percent of limitations people create from come from functioning, not from interesting point of view. 99.99999% of what is creating difficulty in your life is where you haven't been able or willing to function from interesting point of view. So what is that for you? Where are the areas in your life where you haven't yet been willing or able to function from point from interesting point of view? If you actually get present with them, for like for me right now, it's relationship. I haven't been willing to be interesting point of view in some areas of my relationships. And now it's creating difficulties. Or maybe for some of you, it's, you know, body. Maybe it's with your body. Maybe you've had a lot of difficulty with your body. So Gary talks about the reason this key has worked so well for me is that I'm not interested in fantasy. I'm only interested in total awareness. If you're not functioning from, I want total awareness, no matter what that entails, you cannot do these things. It may be that you can't live the 10 keys because you're still functioning from some fantasy or some beingness as though that's going to get you where you want to go or give you what you want to have and so like look at that how many fantasies if, so whatever area you have difficult where you have the most points of views in like the most difficulty with how many fantasies and beingnesses do you have with that like how many fantasies do you have with relationship how many fantasies do you have with money do you ask to have total awareness with your money with your financial reality with your business with your body with sex with relationships or do you still function from fantasies that if you could just get it right, you'll get everything you want. So everything that is times a gazillion, all the fantasies and beingnesses you are using to squelch and suppress 
the quantum entanglements that would allow you to be interesting point of view. Can we destroy and create it, please? Right, wrong, good, bad, pop, pop, only shorts, boys, me, ads. And look what the clearing is. Like, so the fantasies and the beingnesses you use to squelch the quantum entanglements that, al that would allow you to be interesting point of view. Because you are the space between the molecules. We are made up of, of the space, but we are the space between the molecules. So we are space. So when we take a point of view, like money is difficult or um, relationships never work or whatever it is, we take that point of view, that one point of view we take as our point of view. We squelch the quantum entanglement. So we, we, we contract the space between the molecules to hold that point of view in existence. Interesting point of view. I have that point of view creates space again. Do you value space? Do you value ease? Do you value awareness? So home, so home play number one is would you, well, number one, home play number one is to actually get present with the areas that are most difficult for you and start to look at how many points of views you have with this, with this thing, whatever it is for you. Home play number two is, are you willing to actually make the demand to have total awareness? and give up your fantasies in this in these areas. And then the third piece I also want to just look at today as well was what is good for you? Like what is like the thing the other thing too is like we we a lot of times we'll use these tools when when we run into a wall or when things get difficult or things get hard. But are you willing to also be interesting point of view with the things that are good in your life or the things that are going well? Because a lot of times when the things are going well, we just, we don't actually, we're, we, we again go, oh, I'm good with that now. And then you solidify that and make that a point of view. And then it can't become greater. So have a look right now to home play number three. Have a look at what is going well in your life. Ooh, I just got it. And where have you stopped? Where have you come to a point of view about that? that it's going well, you're good, you're finally good with something. Wow, and everywhere you've squelched the quantum entanglements with that, that doesn't allow that to become greater. Can we destroy and uncreate it? Ooh, right, wrong, good, bad, papa, corny shirts, boys, me So take the thing that's going well for you at the moment, that you're like, I'm good, I'm doing good with this. Now go, interesting point of view, I have the point of view. Interesting point of view, I have the point of view that this is good. Interesting point of view, I have the point of view that I'm doing well with this. Wow. Interesting point of view, I have the point of view that I'm doing the right thing with this. Interesting point of view, I have the point of view that I'm successful with this. Wow. Interesting point of view, I have the point of view that I'm finally doing this something right. <laughs> wow. Interesting point of view, I have the point of view that I'm doing good with this. Wow. Interesting point of view, I have the point of view that I'm doing well with this. Interesting point of view. I have the point of view that this is good. Interesting point of view. I have the point of view that this is successful. Interesting point of view. I have the point of view that this is right. Do you see actually how in coming to conclusion, point of view, that you're doing good with something actually starts to destroy it? Because then you actually have to, to like, you have to decay that thing because you've already come to a point of view. So, wow. And he just says here, if you're not doing interesting point of view, if you're not being interesting point of view, then every point of view comes along that you might, that any point of view that comes along that you might have a charge on owns you. It causes you to go into resistance and reaction. And we've been talking a lot in Access lately about reaction. You know, we're constantly in reaction to other people's reactions. And when you find yourself reacting to other people's reactions, that's a great place to go. Okay, interesting point of view. I have this point of view. What are my points of views here? And go through the interesting point of view. I have this point of view until you get to the place where you actually have allowance. You might, and we talked about this yesterday, you might find that they're actually not your points of views. Wow. Okay, guys, so three pieces of the home play. Start getting present with 
the areas of your life that are difficult because they're the ones you have the most points of views in. Acknowledge them. Start being interesting point of view with it. Then, what was the second bit? Um, oh yeah, make the demand to have total awareness. And are you willing to give up your fantasies in these areas? And then have a look at the areas of your life you've decided you have right you decided are good or going good an interesting point of view I have the point of view that this is good interesting point of view I have the point of view that I finally got this right interesting point of view I have the point of view that I don't need anything else here interesting point of view I have the point of view that I wouldn't ask for more here because the minute you find you're you've decided like oh I'm good with this you won't ask for something greater so that's it for today thanks for watching see you tomorrow bye